The strength of the James Webb Space Telescope has proven that it will be able to observe hundreds of distant red giant stars in another galaxy in the near future. Scientists believe that peering outside the Milky Way would teach us more about the greater galactic society to which we belong. And now the JWST has received an alarming signal from the Andromeda Galaxy that is about to change everything from how humanity perceives the universe to the existence of life on another planet. Stay tuned for a mind-blowing revelation. Let's start with a quick rundown of the Andromeda Galaxy. The Milky Way is a member of the appropriately named Local Group. The Andromeda Galaxy is a fascinating member. Andromeda is situated around 2 million light-years away, making it the nearest Milky Way-like galaxy to Earth. Astronomers sometimes refer to the Andromeda Galaxy as Messier 31 or M31. It was the 31st fuzzy item in a renowned list created by the late French astronomer Charles Messier. His inventory included a list of objects to avoid during comet hunting. These objects are now sought after by amateur astronomers using telescopes and binoculars. They are among the most stunning deep sky objects ever discovered. Even though the Andromeda Galaxy is a different galaxy, considerably more extensive than the Milky Way, it's seen as a streak of distant light bigger than a full moon in a dark sky. It may be seen at least part of every night of the year from mid-northern latitudes. However, most people first view the galaxy in August or September, when it's high enough in the sky to be visible from nightfall till sunrise. Aside from its closeness, research also shows that it is also traveling in our direction, and the two galaxies will unite in 4.5 billion years. In addition, the 229 red giant stars are all in the spiral arms of Andromeda. Because stars are the foundation of galaxies, the team is constantly looking at red giants, which are old stars as part of NASA's Webb Early Release Science program. Stating the obvious, the more astronomers understand about stars, the more evidence their image of the past and future of our galaxy becomes. In around 6 billion years, the Sun will become a red giant, inflating up and devouring Mercury, Venus and maybe Earth. What occurs in our part of the universe might have ramifications across the local group, including locations like Andromeda. Thankfully, Andromeda, often known as Messier 31, is near enough for Webb to analyze its individual stars. Andromeda is a large spiral galaxy, in some ways similar to our own, says John Holtzman, a New Mexico State University collaborator on the new findings. We've learned a lot about our own Milky Way galaxy, Holtzman continues, but we need to understand to what extent other spiral galaxies are like our own, and to what extent there is some diversity of properties. He also mentioned that the team will use spectroscopy to investigate the light from these massive stars. Spectroscopy splits the light from individual stars into its constituent detailed colors, Holtzman explains. This enables us to measure the absorption bands in starlight that heavier elements in the star's atmosphere cause, allowing us to measure things about the star's composition. The initial generation of stars was exclusively composed of hydrogen and helium. Scientists believe elements inside stars may be able to reveal their ages. When these early stars died, their spectacular finales as supernovas resulted in the production of heavier elements found in newer stars. There is an interesting division in the chemical properties of older stars in the Milky Way compared to younger stars in the galaxy's disk, Holtzman explains. Our program is created to understand whether a comparable feature is seen in Andromeda. The researchers explain, adding that this will help us comprehend whether the formation paths of the two galaxies are similar. As they progress, NASA has revealed that a signal obtained from the nearby Andromeda galaxy may suggest the existence of the enigmatic dark matter, the elusive component thought to make up most of our cosmos. The signal is identical to the one seen by NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope in 2014 near the center of our Milky Way galaxy. Gamma rays are the highest energy type of light, created by the most intense processes in the cosmos. Gamma rays are ubiquitous in galaxies such as the Milky Way because cosmic rays, particles traveling at nearly the speed of light, create them when they come into contact with interstellar gas clouds and starlight. Surprisingly, the most recent Fermi measurements suggest that the gamma rays in Andromeda, also known as M31, are restricted to the galaxy's center rather than distributed throughout. Experts explain this peculiar distribution might emanate from several unknown sources. Dark matter, an unknown material that makes up most of the cosmos, might be one of them. 
A dense concentration of pulsars in M31 center might also be a source of this emission. These spinning neutron stars are among the densest objects in the universe, weighing up to double the sun's mass. One teaspoon of neutron star stuff on Earth would weigh a billion tons. Some pulsars release the majority of their energy in the form of gamma rays. Individual pulsars are challenging to locate since M31 is 2.5 million light years distant. We expect dark matter to accumulate in the innermost regions of the Milky Way and other galaxies, which is why finding such a compact signal is very exciting," explained Pierrick Martin, an astrophysicist of France's National Center for Scientific Research and the Research Institute in Astrophysics and Planetology. M31 will be a key to understanding what this means for both Andromeda and the Milky Way, Martin added. Scientists may use what they know about pulsars from measurements in the Milky Way to fresh X-ray and radio observations of Andromeda to see whether the gamma rays are emanating from these objects. Scientists may utilize Fermi's discovery of a comparable gamma ray signature in both M31 and the Milky Way to answer puzzles inside both galaxies. We don't fully understand the roles that cosmic rays play in galaxies or how they travel through them," said Xian Hao, an astronomer at the Chinese Academy of Sciences. M31 allows us to see how cosmic rays behave in conditions that are different from those found in our own galaxy," added Hao. Because the Milky Way and M31 have comparable discoveries, astronomers may use the galaxies as models for each other when undertaking challenging measurements. While further studies are needed to establish the cause of the gamma-ray excess, the finding gives an exciting beginning point for learning more about both galaxies and the still enigmatic nature of dark matter. Ido Berger and Yvette Sendis of the Center for Astrophysics collected data quickly using the world's most significant radio and millimeter telescopes. However, the scientists were taken aback after reviewing and merging data from the SMA and other telescopes across the planet. The millimeter and radio wave readings were far brighter than predicted based on visible and X-ray light, suggesting the discovery of an entirely new mechanism for producing extra millimeter and radio waves. While the specifics of this gamma-ray burst are unknown, the capacity to react quickly to gamma-ray bursts and comparable phenomena with millimeter wave telescopes is an important new skill for astronomers. Berger underlined that with fast-acting radio and millimeter telescopes like the SMA, scientists might benefit from potentially life-changing findings about the universe's most intense explosions. With its super capabilities and cutting-edge technology, the JWST will enable scientists to investigate various astrophysical phenomena, including gravitational waves. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.